Ronald Kleineburg for Interdops. And today I would like to show you some uh, insights on the BW Bridge. So the BW Bridge is the vehicle basically to migrate your on-prem BW system into the cloud and connect it to SAP DataSphere. So this is the um, Interdops tenant. So what we actually have is a space called uh, BW Bridge, which connects to the BW system in the cloud. Um, so you can see that uh, here. So here's the BW Bridge space. So actually when you purchase a uh, BW Bridge, you get a um, yeah, bridge connection, uh, which is somewhere in the uh, configuration section of the, um, of the, um, of the tenant. Um, it's quite simple. You just have, there's just a create button uh, and that's it. So once it's provisioned by SAP, uh, you just connect it and, um, yeah, and that's basically, uh, basically it. So there's no, no big thing there to, uh, to do. Um, so this is the, um, the BW, uh, bridge. Um, so how does it work? Once you have this BW bridge, you actually get a, um, uh, a web. Uh, UI to do all the um, normal BW stuff like uh, administrate uh, data targets like ETSOs and, and so on. Uh, you also get config here. So yeah, of course, when you um, have a BW bridge, you want to connect it. So you basically need a connection from um, the bridge into DataSphere and a second one to any source system you want to connect. Um, and the connection is all done by using the cloud connector. So how does that work? More or less, so you create a communication system, a communication arrangement, which is uh, yeah, connecting the on-prem system with your, um, with your data switch system. So for instance, this one, this is a, a standard communication arrangement you need to activate. Uh, and once you activate that, then basically you, um, yeah, you can use the, um, uh, the connectivity. Um, so how does that look in the cloud connector? So this is, for instance, the Interdops cloud connector. So I have a BWC here. So what do we have? We have cloud to on-prem. So this is our BW4 system. It's connected in the cloud connector. Uh, it's reachable. That's good. Uh, next to that, we have a service channel. It's all quite well documented by SAP. This is basically the connection to the ABAP side of the, um, of the uh, BW bridge. Um, and that all comes together. Um, so yeah, you also have to make an RFC connection in BW4. So the source system I'm actually connecting. So I have a uh, RFC connection here. It's called 0M50 something. And the reason for that is that it's basically connecting to the cloud connector um, using a username and password. And that name here is also a name you will see in the BW bridge. So this is the BW4, but for instance, this uh, is our BW4 system. And here you would see that the um, connectivity actually is made towards that RFC system. So in the BW4 system, I'm making a RFC connection to this system, which is the bridge. Um, it's a cumbersome process. Um, we've done it. So if you need any help, give us a call. In any case, um, so cloud connector, BW connectivity, um, communication system. So there's a there's quite some integration you need to arrange, but once that's done, it's actually working quite well. Um, so what else can I show you? Yeah, you need to create a development package, for instance, so a software component, it's called. Um, so that also when you create an object in the bridge, it's automatically recorded in, into a transport mechanism. Um, so that needs to be activated. Um, if you want to migrate something between your BW4 system and or BW system and the bridge, you also need to set up a, a development package. That's also quite well documented. Um, so if we want to transfer some data into the bridge, let's try that. So this is my uh, bridge system. Um, but I also have a BW4 system, which is here. So for instance, if I would like to migrate this ADSO into the BW bridge, there is a program for that, of course. So what we would do is we go to the conversion cockpit. Um, that's this one. 
and we would do a scope transfer. Uh, let's take a new one. So you have to fill in some parameters. So the object, for instance, you want to um, um, you want to migrate. So it was exhaust underscore CSG, whatever it is. Yeah, also useful to tick some boxes. Right. So here it is. So minimal scope because I don't want to uh, have the whole BW4 system uh, transferred into uh, into one run. That would be a bit clumsy. Um, I have to um, give the connection. So this is this RFC connection I was just referring to. So this one is an RFC connection to the bridge. So remember this name. Right. Uh, that's about it. I think minimal scope. So I press save. Um, so then you can execute your first step. So it will check some stuff. So you can see that in the bottom. So that's done. Um, all right. So it's stopping because I have to fill in some other parameters. So I have to, for instance, fill in my uh, transport request. So remember that software component I was talking about. So you have to select the transport request. So I'm doing that here. It's called bridge conversion. It's also quite uh, difficult to find the place actually where you would have to create a transport request because you don't have a GUI anymore, but it's documented. Um, so that's all done. So I'm pressing save again. Uh, press execute. Right, something else. Checklists. Yeah, that's all good. Custom coding is perfect in this one. Execute it again. So now in the bottom you can see that it's actually transferring the um, the objects into uh, the BW bridge. Still doing that. You can see it also this blue line on the top is uh, is running. So it's actually processing now. So don't worry, we'll get there. It's going, it's going. So this is something you would have to do for every object you want to transfer into the BW bridge. Um, now Interdops actually came up with a proposition for that because it's quite difficult if you have an existing BW system to understand what objects you would like to transfer into the BW bridge because yeah, what objects um, are actually in use in your BW system or uh, what's the complexity uh, or um, is there any data loaded for the last couple of years. So what we did is we created uh, quite a number of uh, ABAP programs and these ABAP programs do a full scan of your BW system so that in a very short period of time we can actually um, let our clients know what it takes to move into the BW bridge. So just to quick side note on, on how that looks. So let's switch this. So what we do is we do um, um, yeah, a couple of scans of the system. For instance, uh, and we also use the SAP standard programs. Um, so this one, for instance, is a uh, lookup. So it looks into the transformation, what type of reads uh, there are in the system. Uh, we have also uh, one which does AMDP lookups, which is much more complicated, of course, than standard ABAP ones. Then we have also a very nice one which actually scans the BW system, checks if there is if they are relatively simple flows which could be transferred back into the source system. So it looks if if there is any complexity. It's a nice one. Uh, we also have um, a program which checks all the BW statistics. So which queries are actively run, how many times, which info providers are used, um, how often, when was the last run, you name it. So we can really deep dive into the statistic with our own custom programs. So what else do we have? Um, yeah, what ABAP lookups are used, so also very interesting. You need to know, of course, if you transfer a flow, also the ABAPs or the ADSOs which you're reading in transformations need to go, need to be migrated. This program does that. And then we also have another program which actually checks, uh, based on a custom date object, uh, what the time slices are in a info provider. So, for instance, it will show you, okay, this DSO... Uh, blah 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 so for instance this one has data from 2014 till 2022 
So you could then decide, okay, let's only take the last two years because you don't want to take everything on board into the BW bridge because that will be very expensive. So long story short, we have quite a number of, uh, of ABA programs and uh, custom programs and our own programs uh, in order to do a proper shell or remote conversion. Um, so we could really help with this whole preparation phase. We could really yeah, give insights into your BW system and determine what needs to happen in order to move to the bridge. And of course, we also have um, um, yeah, basically the knowledge how to set up connections to your source system, as I just showed you in the, uh, in the program. Right, so in the meantime, this is green, which is always good. So task run executed ended with status finished successfully. So now if we would go not into our BW4 system, but in the bridge, there should be a new ADSO, and there it is. It's opening up, and indeed, it did a full transfer of the ADSO object, the ZOS CSG, and also did the underlying info objects. So it works quite well. So very happy with that. Um, thank you very much for uh, for listening. This was Romo Kanagura for Interdubs.